I got my PlayStation 5 yesterday and instead of sleeping I found myself deep in a homebrew Discord community. What started as a casual reading turned into an all night community fire test. People were testing, joking, debugging and swapping notes. It felt more like daytime than 3am. Around 3am Jessine or Gsine, I'm really not sure how to pronounce that name, but the dev behind Y2 Jailbreak dropped version 1.2 overnight. What makes this huge? Well, the older versions were userland exploits. Now version 1.2 ties into the case of kernel exploit that shifts it from a partial hack to a full jailbreak. You need to understand, the servers exploded, beta testers tried it, found bugs, fixes went out and the conversation just kept building. I was there for the whole ride. The hype, the panic, the victory laps. But for today's video I wanted to show y'all how to jailbreak your PlayStation 5 from version 4.03 up to the version 9.6 with this particular YouTube exploit as of today, because soonish you can like even go higher. And this is just amazing. Now to begin this jailbreak you will need a USB drive. So connect that with your computer and make sure it is formatted in FAT32. Now you can use AOMA Partition Manager. Once you make sure your USB device is on FAT32, you can go ahead and download this file here. I will put the link inside the description. Now what we want to do is to download the Y2 jailbreak backup file. And what you will have inside is a PS5 folder. So just drag and drop that into your USB stick. And as easy as that, you can eject your USB stick from your computer and stick it into your PlayStation 5. Now on your PlayStation 5, you want to go to the settings and then you want to go to system and then to system software and then backup and restore. Once you're here inside, you want to click on restore your PlayStation 5. You want to click on that file and then click on restore. And then if you have something open like me, just click on yes to close it. And then once again, yes, you want to restore it. Okay, so once your console is actually restoring, you want to jump back to your computer and you want to come to this GitHub from Y2JB. Click here on the green icon and then download zip. Make sure to take that zip folder to your desktop. And the last thing that you need to download is etahen. So make sure to click on the link inside the description or search it on Google and then you will find here the etahen. Just download the newest version and take that to your desktop. Then open the zip file which we downloaded before and take the folder inside that zip file onto your desktop. All right, pretty good. What we want to do now is to go to our PlayStation 5 again. It basically made a factory reset in which you just basically need to set up the HDR. So what we need to do is to prevent that our PlayStation 5 has connection to the servers, but we need to maintain a connection to the router. We, what we need to do is to go into the settings and then network and then again here under settings set up internet connection. Now instead of clicking on to your internet connection you want to scroll down and go here to set up manually. Then enter manually and now you have the SSID in which you just basically need to write your internet name one to one the same as it is okay under the security method just take vpa vpa2 vpa3 and then make sure under a dns settings that you type it the exact same like me so what you need to do is to set it to manual and then under primary dns you want to type in 127.0.0.2 now if you did that right then you will have a router connection but a failed internet connection and this this is perfectly fine like this okay so if you see that red sign that that's actually good now what you want to do is to come actually back to the home menu go here to media and then open the youtube app now since we restored our playstation with that package that we downloaded from y2 jailbreak if we open the youtube app without letting our system update it automatically we actually get into this here and this is basically an FTP server. So we are right now able to connect with our PlayStation 5 over FTP to go actually back to our computer and then go to the folder that you have and just uh, open the terminal for it. Okay, so if you have Windows, then you want to click here where the path is and then just type in CMD like me and it will open up the terminal. Okay. Now this what I'm writing here in, I will put it inside the description, but what you actually want to do is where I put the IP address inside, you want to check what your IP address is because this will change individually. And then the port should always be the same, which is right now 50,000. So yeah, like I said, just copy the exact command that you will find in the description and just, just change the IP address that will be shown on your PlayStation 5. And once you got that command with the right IP address and you click on enter, so what we're going to do is to inject labs and elf loader. And if you did it successfully, then YouTube will actually close on itself 
And what we need to do is to go back to our computer without opening YouTube anymore. So what I did was actually taking Etahen into the folder where I had labs before. And then I was just changing the command like you see here. You can once again copy paste it if you want to and then just uh, change the IP address to the ones that you have. But make sure that you also change the port which I have right now to 1921. Okay, this is for everyone the same. At the beginning we had 50,000 and now we have 1921. And if this injection was actually successful, then congratulations, your PlayStation 5 is now officially jailbroken. Isn't that insane? Make sure that you don't power off your PlayStation 5 anymore, because once you power off your PlayStation 5 to 100 percent you need to repeat these steps um, without actually reinstalling the package. But um, you definitely need to redo these steps to jailbreak with the YouTube app, etc. And yeah, what you can do is actually to put it into rest mode. This is no problem. But if you shut it down fully, then you need to redo those steps which I showed you here. Yep, that's how you jailbreak your PlayStation 5 on version 4.03 up to 9.6 as of today. There's lots more to find out about the PlayStation modding scene and you will hear more about it soon. And for my fellow Switch enthusiasts, I got very interesting news that I will drop in the next homebrew update that will blow your mind. So stay tuned, y'all. Don't forget to smile. My name is you. Peace.